Training to become a dancer prepared me to become a scientist. Both kinds of careers require creativity. The more creative you are, the greater artist you become, the greater dancer you become, the greater scientist you become. I became a Packard Fellow in 2000. Uh, it was quite exciting. With Packard Funds, we were able to do what we call high-throughput molecular biology research, and we, now we've identified over 2,700 genes that are activated as a result of neural activity in the brain. The behavior I'm most interested in is uh, spoken language, and I use animal models. What you're observing now is a male mouse sniffing a female's flank, and that then stimulates him to woo her with his song. And what you're seeing on the computer screen here is uh, the sonograms of that song in real time, since we can't hear it. The song that he's producing is the type that we find where they can actually imitate each other's pitch and is being modulated by the cortex. For the birds, we did the same thing as we did with the mice. He's singing a courtship song to the female. When we reported our discovery of the song system areas, the vocal learning areas of these birds, and in humans being embedded within motor pathways, and we proposed they were motor learning pathways. At that same time, others had published a, a new discovery that uh, only vocal learning species can learn how to synchronize their bodies to a rhythm of a beat of music. I'm studying singing in birds, and now we discover vocal learning and dancing may be related. So I am getting people in my lab now to look at these brain circuits that we think might be involved in dancing and vocal imitation and see how they're integrated with each other. This is bringing me back full circle back to my dance uh, career. It gives me a different perspective of how to design experiments.